Well, as the calendar turns to October and the weather gets colder, the action on the high school gridiron only gets hotter. Gretna trying to stay undefeated tonight on the road. Zane Flores and the Dragons facing Scott Catholic this evening. We pick up the action in the third quarter. Gretna up three. Flores fakes me out, handing off to Mick Huber. He picks up 46 on the play, and the Dragons are in business. Later in the drive, Flores caps it off from one yard out. Gets a little push there from his teammates. Second effort. Touchdown plunge puts Gretna up at that point, 31-21, but Scott not going down quietly. Sam Scott punches it in from a yard out. Skyhawks within three at that point, 31-28. Less than a minute remaining now in the fourth. Scott still down three, but the Dragons D steps up. Huber and Mason Goldman combined for the sack. Gretna hangs on tonight, 31-28 to, to stay perfect. A top 10 matchup in Class B, second ranked Norris trying to knock off undefeated and eighth ranked Plattsmith. In the first quarter, no score. Cooper Hausman hits James Carney for the 10 yard touchdown to make it 7 0. Titans on top early. Ensuing kickoff, this is Plattsmith's Reese Baker putting on the moves, faking out our photog Kevin Rempe. That's right, Rempe recovers. Baker taking it to the house, but it's Norris coming out on top in a wild one, 29 26. Class A number one, West Side hosting ninth ranked Millard North tonight. The Mustangs trying to build off that comeback victory last week over Lincoln East. First quarter, no score. The Warriors, Cole Payton, keeps it himself, finds an opening, and he is gone. 61 yards to the house for the score, 7 0 West Side. Later in the first, more from the Warriors. Payton back to pass, this time going deep to Minnesota commit Avante Dickerson, who reels it in for the 50 yard pitch and catch. 14 to nothing, West Side still in the first. Peyton swinging it over to Dominic Rizak, who does the rest. Nine yard touchdown, West Side goes on for the win, 44 to 14. Third ranked Millard South meeting Lincoln Pius the 10th tonight. The Patriots trying to improve to four and one on the year. Second quarter, Pat's already up 21. TJ Urban making it more with this six yard touchdown run. Later in the second, more from the Pats. Looks like an instant replay. Urban, the 11 yard touchdown run this time. Millard South goes on to shut out Pius tonight, 42 to nothing. Meanwhile, Scott Frost saying today defensive back Braxton Clark likely out for the season with a shoulder injury. Meanwhile, and you commit Teddy Prohaska and his Elkhorn South team in action tonight. The Storm hosting Bellevue East. Let's make our way out to Elkhorn Stadium for this one. There's Prohaska and he would have a great night on the line. First play from scrimmage for the Storm. Makai Nelson Douglas finding a hole going 44 yards for the touchdown. Six zips Storm at that point. Later in the first, more from Elkhorn South. Dylan Krause keeping it himself this time. Five yard touchdown run as the Storm sail to the 59 6 win. Millard West meeting Lincoln East tonight. The Wildcats trying to rebound from blowing that 26 point lead last week to break prep. Second quarter tied at six until Nathan Peterson rips off this 95 yard kickoff return for the touchdown. 13 6 Millard West. Wildcats cheerleaders loving it. Later in the second, the Spartans' Noah Walters escapes somehow and finds Cooper Erickson for the big gain as Lincoln East rallies from 12 down in the fourth quarter to win it, 26-25. Fremont facing Lincoln North Star. Let's make our way to the capital city for this one. The Tigers quarterback Carter Sintek back to pass. It's Dawson Glaus for the 20-yard touchdown strike. Fremont goes on for the victory tonight, 28-7. Over in Council Bluffs this evening, a crosstown rivalry. Thomas Jefferson meeting Abe Lincoln. We pick it up in the third quarter. AL up big on a third and 23. The Lynx, Lennox Brown hits Damari Brown for a first down. A few plays later, the same combination again for AL. Brown to Damari Brown. AL starting to feel it. Fourth quarter now. New QB for Abe Lincoln. Eli Luhasso. Calling his own number, he's going to take it to the house. 35 yards for the touchdown. Links roll 56 to 13.